Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a barometer. First, you will need a jar. Make sure it's a coffee jar or, or a jar that's heavy enough, not a plastic jar. Glove. Sticky tape. Scissors. A rubber band. Permanent marker, doesn't matter what size or colour. Paper. And a 30 centimetre ruler. And a straw. The first, you will get the lid of the jar and the glove and the permanent marker. And you'll blow the glove up. Then let it go down. You get the permanent marker, you put place the lid, lid on there and trace it. After you trace it, you will be cutting it out. And it would look like that. After you cut it out, you would place it on the lid, stretch it out, and if you need sticky tape, get some sticky tape, place it on here. Then you get the rubber band, as you can see here, as I did earlier, you would place it over the top of it. Then. After you did that, you would get your straw and estimate where you would cut it. Make sure, make sure it's pointy. Then get your permanent marker again and colour. tip of the straw, the pointy side. Then you get the straw and sticky tape it to the top of the jar. And you'll do it, you'll sticky tape it more than once because it's really, it won't really stay. Do it at least three times. Depends how well your sticky tape is. Then you'll get the paper, fold it in half like this, place it like that, get your permanent marker. Mark, mark where in its stays. As you can see, it's there. Then you'll get your ruler. This is the one I've done earlier. Get your ruler and measure where you marked it and do it at least one to two centimetres um, far. After you do that, you do a um, bit high than a bit low, lower than low, and a lot higher than high. As you can see, then you write low, normal, and high. Then we we'll measure it. You see how it's a bit over um, the normal. If it was normal, the wind would pressure it down. Then if it goes any further than normal, it would go lower. But if, the wind, if there's hardly any wind, it would go around there, or it would go up. After that, you would, just to make sure, if you test it out and the straw comes off, just get one little piece, paste up here. Then, 
We'll go near the, uh, near a wall or outside. Place the jar where you want it to go. And if you're against the wall, you don't have to do this. But if you're outside, you hold it. You try to hold it there. Or if you can balance, you place it there. Or you can stick your tape to the ground, whatever you want to, to keep it up. Then the wind would pressure it down and make it go up. Olivia's and I, our goal was to um, was to um, measure the pressure of the air. The first time we did it, it wasn't a su success um, because we used a plastic jar and we realised that when the wind picked up, it would knock the jar over. And then, uh, in conclusion, we got a new jar, we placed it outside in the wind, and we placed it in the house, and outside it went a bit down to um, normal, and inside it just moved like slightly down. Um, thank you for watching. Um, since I'm posting, I post this on my YouTube channel. Um, thank you for watching YouTube fans and thank you for watching out my class. And the person who was re recording this um, was Olivia. And um, thanks Olivia for recording this since you um, since you made the first one and you want you want me to like do it. Um, thank you for letting me do this one. And thank you for watching, guys. Bye.